hello welcome back to my channel my name is melissa and today i'm going to be recreating kim kardashian's makeup look i did decide to do the same hairstyle that she had and yeah if you're interested to see how i got this makeup look then please keep on watching and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos to come thank you and yeah let's get started so I already started with my foundation, my bronzer, and everything since this look is mainly about the eyes. For my transition shade, I'm going to be using this orangey-brown color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, on Kim Kardashian's crease, you can see that they went ahead, her makeup artist went ahead and added like a brownish-orangey color to the crease. Like so. And you want to be light-handed with this color because it's just a transition shade. Um, the look is mainly about the black. I'm going to go in with a blending brush like this. It's more packed and more dense. Um, that way the color can really look more bold. Right now it just looks blended out. But I want to focus it more on the outer corner like so. And I want it to look more pigmented. So that's why I'm using a blending brush like this. Blending it from the outer and the inner of my eye. I'm using a mirror right here. <laughs> and that's why I'm looking this way. But I hope you guys can tell what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Okay, so now on to the black part, the black eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the black color from the Jaclyn Hill palette called Abyss. And I'm using a brush like this. So I can be more precise and I can see exactly where I'm placing the black eyeshadow. Since we are using black eyeshadow, you have to be very careful because, you know, if you put a lot all at once it's gonna be really hard to play with that or like to fix that black is actually very pigmented so i'm just dusting it off and i have about that much and i'm going to start in the outer of my eye i recommend using like a gel or like a wet product before applying powder and i forgot to do that so I'm going to add that right now. I'm sure it will still work. Just dab it and then we'll blend it out right now. You see how much more pigmented it looks? Brush and just start blending it. Just for a gel product or a cream product, you want to try just pressing it in and then you can blend it out with the powder. So for now, let's just press it in. A little bit goes a long way and it's better to start off with less. So like I said, you just want to pat it in. Wow, look at that. I really recommend if you do this look or if you use colorful eyeshadows or black, I would recommend doing your eyeshadow first. That way it doesn't fall on top of your foundation or you can be more precise and clean it up after with a wipe, with concealer, or with foundation, you know? Now I'm going to go in with liquid eyeliner and define the inner parts of my eye. Anything you do Anything you do Everything's for you Drama is for you Take that L you lose Take that L you lose No need to pretend She got a little bit of drama with friends So I'm going to be using my eyebrow angle brush And just try winging out the eyeshadow you 
So I went ahead and added butter and pooter from the Jonquin Hill palette and I just wanted to make my crease more pigmented. I feel like I did this area too thick and I'm not a big fan of it so I think I'm going to remove some of it with a q-tip so I'll be right back. This is what I have so far. I went ahead and fixed it a little bit as much as I could and now I'm going to be adding lashes. Um, I heard that she was wearing the Lily lashes in Goddess but I have similar ones right here from Tarte and I'm pretty sure they'll get the job done. You want to place the lash in the center and then put the end of the lash at the end of your eye and then scoot it as far as it can go to the front. Just make sure that it's at the end of your eye. That's the most important part. That way it can look like the shape of your eye. So I actually stacked my eyelashes. I actually bought these the other day, Wispy Lashes by Ardell. So what I did was I added this one first by Tarte. And then on top of it, I added one lash. And it came out pretty dramatic which was what lashes she was wearing she was wearing very dramatic lashes so i actually like the way it came out so this is double stacked this is two lashes put together and then this is just one lash you see how this one looks more dramatic and that's how she had it so I would leave it like this, but since we're doing an inspired look of exactly what she had, I'm going to go ahead and do this dramatic look. So this is the second eyelash that I'm going to place on top. I'm going to show you guys. You literally just place it on top, just like you did with the first one. And then you just fix it, make sure it's stuck, it's down. Then you just start pressing them together with your tweezers. That way you can make sure they're in lock with one another. That they're intact. And there you have it. So to make my lashes and the false lashes blend together, um, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. mascara, which I love. It has no fallout whatsoever. Try not to wiggle too much because you don't want to want the lashes to come off. Oh my god. Look what just happened. When that happens, when mascara gets on your makeup, just wait and let it dry up and then it'll crumble away. Like just remove it with your finger or with the brush, but wait for it to dry up completely and then it'll just crumble off. Okay, just when you thought you were done, we are not done. So the bold statement, of course, was the lower lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and use a thinner pencil, black eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to line my waterline first, as black as I can get it. I haven't done inner black eyeliner since, I don't know, since like last year. Also going to be doing the top waterline. That way it can blend with the lashes. 
and I know it's super uncomfortable but it makes a major difference I'm going to start rubbing it on the lower lash line towards my skin like so so I went ahead and added the cream black eyeshadow and then I to make it more black and then I grabbed the same black eyeshadow that I used to blend out my black eyeshadow I on top I blended it ever so lightly, like so lightly, um, just to blend it out, um, and that's pretty much it. And of course, add mascara to your bottom lash line, to your bottom lashes. I feel like you can't really see. go ahead and use my NYX lip liner in London this is the darkest lip liner that I have I need a darker one and then fill them in with the color And me over here, I always have to create my own Cupid's bow because I don't have one. My boyfriend makes fun of me all the time. He was blessed with beautiful big lips and a wonderful Cupid's bow. Like why? He doesn't need it. I need it. A brown shade like these two right here. Go light-handed, don't go too heavy, and then just blend it right underneath your lip line and drag it outward a little bit. And go lower if you want to create a shadow of a bigger lip. She had a pale nude color in the middle of her lips, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. It's the most nude lipstick that I have so I'm going to use it and just pat it in the center and as you can see I tried doing my hairstyle just like hers this is the makeup look what do you guys think about it I think it looks pretty damn cute I never ever do bold looks like this so I'm really gra glad that I tried it out. Um, so yeah, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments that you guys may have. She got a little bit of drama with friends. She got a little bit of drama with friends. She got a little bit of drama with friends. She got a little bit of drama with friends. Every lost girl I know is over 26. Every lost girl I know is just too afraid to admit it. You get your body to me, I body that like a savage. Give and take, you give it to them, they take this bitch for granted, yeah. Different than it was before. People around you wanted more. BFF, oh yeah, for sure. One